Hi, thanks for joining us today for a live reading of Jesse. So, the topic on everybody's mind right now is school opening in the fall. Um, so many things to think about, but I just want to talk to, well, to three people. Students, parents, and teachers. So, students. Um, we do realize that the spring distance learning did not go well. It did. It really didn't. There's a lot of kids we never heard from. There's a lot of kids that never um, did any of the work. We know it was, let's just say it, it was a kind of a disaster. We were pushed to hurry, hurry, hurry as teachers. Um, get, you know, things ready for your kids, blah, blah, blah. Um, not everybody was connected, not everybody had devices, not everybody um, was at the point where they could participate. So for that reason, things weren't enforced. Rules weren't enforced, grades weren't given. That was the issue with, with spring um, and how the school year ended. Sad, but out of our control, pretty much. We had to do things that way. So as a student, students are used to, at the grade level I teach middle school, students are used to um, a certain, certain activities the first week of school, certain things that happen. You know, teachers don't just jump in and give assignments today. On um, the first couple of days, sometimes the first week or so, it's all about building community, building relationships with the kids before the real work is done. I want kids to know, I want students to know that's going to happen in the fall. Teachers are working right now, some of them, um, and be definitely before school starts on being able to build relationships and build community within a classroom that's virtual and not in person. Um, that's a really big part of what teachers are trying to get, um, get together right now and, and figure out how to do that. So that don't expect work, work, work right away. There's going to be lots of activities still, even though it's, it's a virtual, um, parents, parents, uh, how do I address parents? Parents know the same thing about students. Things are going to be different. Students are going to be held accountable. Um, right now, there are programs that teachers are using that are stepping up and adding to their curriculum specifically for distance learning. Teachers are creating their own lessons for distance learning. Um, if nothing, it's made everybody really come together to get these things worked on and done. So um, parents, it, it will not be a disaster like it was in the spring. It will be a lot better. Um, teachers, we are uh, sick of hearing it, I'm sure, in this together, but we really are, and it really has brought a, the teaching community together whether you're connecting on social media with somebody in your same, you know, topic area across the country or in another country even, um, it's really brought um, education, the people in education together. So um, things to look forward to. I'm excited about it. I've been doing a lot of preparing, been going to webinars and and there's going to be a lot more where that came from. But um, things will not be like they were in the spring. Please be assured that that is not happening. Um, anyway, I started reading March 20th of 2020. And I started doing this two days a week. And I went down during the summer to one day a week on Friday. I don't know what my schedule is going to be like when school starts. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do this, but please be assured that one day a week I will still read even after school starts. Not sure again what that day will be, what time of day it will be, but I will keep you posted and I will continue doing this. So hang in there, everybody. It's going to get better. 
Um, you can always go back and reread if you're really bored. Re-listen to all of my stories on my YouTube channel. They're also as long as they can be on my on this Facebook page that you're tuned into right now. Um, yeah, here we go. Jesse, where it all started. And she's right here, right next to me. Hi, Jesse. I'll we'll have to show you in a minute. Okay. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm a pit bull. I know, I know. Pit bulls are mean. Ha! Huh, yeah, right. Well, I'm here to say you can't believe everything you hear. Enough of that. More about me. I must admit, I might be a little funny looking at first glance, but everyone thinks I am gorgeous. At least those that matter. And I happen to agree. My hair is soft and shiny and kind of short. Definitely easy to manage. Can you imagine what those long hairs go through just to wash their hair? I'm also missing one of my front teeth. Puppy playtime, Nuff said. I'm mostly black with a thin white stripe between my eyes. It's a little crooked, just one of my beauty marks. And I have a splash of white around my nose that curls down my chin and makes a cute little shape on my chest. My whiskers, now they are funny. On one side of my face, they're white. On the other side, black. I guess I'm lucky they're not green. Now my best feature is my ears. They're what makes me unique. One always stands straight up, the other always flops down. Don't you think that is just the most precious thing? And I love to have my face petted. Well, back to my story. I wasn't always the light of mom's eyes. I used to live at a house where everything wasn't so nice. It was okay at first, I would play and jump on the couch and run around the kitchen. That's where the tooth incident happened. But as I began to grow, my people put a thick collar on me and tied me to a tree in the backyard, even in the rain. I tried to get their attention using my ears. You know, that floppy and straight thing. And I would howl, but nothing seemed to work. It seemed like nobody wanted me anymore. I just sort of gave up. They never came out to play. They would never pet me. One night when it was raining, I pulled at my lead trying to get on the porch. It was wet. I pulled and twisted and slipped and slithered, all of a sudden, I couldn't feel the collar anymore. I was free. I scratched at the door, but no one answered. It was dark and cold. I looked around and ran along the fence. I found a loose board and pushed it with my nose. The board moved. I pushed a little more and the board fell off. Wow. I wondered what was on the other side. I squeezed through the hole and all of a sudden, I was on the other side. I could run and run and run. When I stopped running, I was in a strange place. It wasn't a backyard. In fact, it wasn't a yard at all. There were no fences, no collars, no people. It was huge with rows and rows of vines growing on big stumps with clusters hanging down. 
was kind of scary. Being in the vine yard wasn't so bad. Early in the morning, people would walk through the vines looking at the purple things. You know, those clusters. I tried eating them, but they were very sour. Anyway, <coughs> I knew I had to hide, but I was getting really, really hungry. There was water in the ditches, but the only thing I could find to eat was what the peoples had dropped. Not much. It seemed like I was always hungry. One day, there was this person who kept calling me. Here, boy. Here, boy. Can't you tell I'm a girl? Look at me. Do I look like a boy? Anyway, he held out some food. It smelled like a chicken sandwich. Oh, did my mouth start to water. As I was eating the sandwich, he started to pet me. I didn't know how much I missed getting petted. I couldn't get enough. It felt so good. The man took me to a place called a shelter. There were lots of dogs there, big dogs, little dogs, old dogs and puppies, even some pit bulls like me. The peoples gave me a bath. A girl needs her beauty treatment and some water and treats. I like treats. They even petted my face. After a couple of days at the shelter, a family walked between the cages. I don't want a puppy, I heard the lady said. Then they looked at me. They stared at each other. Something clicked. I knew these were my peoples. I had to have them. I wagged my tail. I smiled. I jumped up and down. I tried to squeeze through the cage to get close to them. Everyone in the family petted me. It felt so good. She looks like a pit bull, Mom, the girl said, but it says Lab Mix on the card. She knows I'm a pit bull and she could tell I'm a girl. Beautiful and smart. You know your dogs, the shelter person said. She is a pit bull. But she's so cute, the girl said. Look at her eyes, they sparkle. I put on my best smile. Aren't you a sweetie, mom said. See how I called her mom? There are a lot of them around, especially in the shelters, the helper person said. Christina, I think her name was. Pit bulls are normally very sweet and affectionate, just like any dog that is loved and cared for. Then they left. I thought I was going home, but they left. Now what was I going to do? I knew I would be stuck at the shelter forever. Later that afternoon, there was a big commotion in the hallway. My family was back, and they had brought all of their other dogs to meet me, just to make sure. I get along with everyone, so of course they love me. Home I went with mom, girl, and three other dogs. What a family. They are so lucky they found me. Really, I'm the lucky one. They took me to school where I learned to sit and stay and lie down. And I can shake hands. Well, pause. Mom takes me for walks every day. I even get to sleep with her on her big soft bed. Sure beats being tied to a tree, you think? I love being next to her. She tells me how pretty I am. She gives me treats and she tells me I'm a good girl. What more could a girl ask for? 
And you know what? She pets me. I love having my face petted. All right, let's turn the camera over to Jessie. She's in the middle of a nap right now, but we'll get her on camera. And I just want you to remember everything will be different but better in the fall than it was in the spring as far as school goes. Hang in there. Um, if you're a student, try your best just to read anything you can. Um, and let's check Jessie out. I'm gonna say hi. Say hi, Chelsea. Oh, there goes the jail. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi there. I'm Jessie, the real Jessie, taking a nap. Mama read to you, so you went to sleep. Huh. Yeah. Let's check out Tucker. Here's Tucker. Hi, Tuck. Good boy, Tucker. Are you rugging too? No? You're just going to lay there and look? <laughs> Good boy. All right. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll leave you with that wag of Jessie's. Wag, wag, wag. All right. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.